All right, we want to do your brakes. Okay. We're just going to change them. We ain't going to mess around. On three, slap it, bitch. One, two, three. Slap it. So, just make sure I got everything here. I need, I need it. Pretty cut and dry. You gotta well you got the wheel off check if they're halfway or they just change. DVCs are expensive brake pads. I've used every kind of brake pad known to mankind and I've never had a problem with any of them. Uh, I ride 20 what 20, 25,000 miles a year. Never have an issue. Uh, you know, I, I buy a set of front and rear. 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Total. These are like $55 a side. About $150 at least. 107 on eBay. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I'm not saying they're not better. They probably are, but I'm just telling you, I go through two sets of brake pads a year, a year, pretty much. And I did with the EBCs just like I do with ABC. Oh, you did you really? Yes, I oh, okay. So I don't see any, and all this fading, and it doesn't change. Well, you brake lever harder. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just telling you. Everybody makes a fuss out of that stuff, and I just don't get it. Don't get it. Okay, so what I did was I attached this back on here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread these pads, because obviously the new ones we're putting on are going to be wider. Mm -hmm. So when you put your wheel back on, you obviously have to have them wider, because you got to slide... There's my... you got to slide your, uh, your discs in there. They're not going to go in here where these are compressed right. because your pistons are pushed in from the wear of the brake. Right. So what you're going to do is run them back out hard and pull them out. It'll raise your level up here. You don't have to loosen nothing. You just wrap, you pull them out. So what I normally do is I'll just make sure those are on because you're not going to hurt the fact that remember you're not going to hurt what's already on it because you're, you're removing you're what's moving. already on it. So right. you don't care what you do to them. And you can see actually right here Man, you can't see good, but right, see here? Yeah. There's your pistons. pistons. See how far out they are? Right. Because that's how much the pads have actually worn. Those are almost flat. Right. So what I do is I take the pad, the screwdriver, and I just push it. Now look at your look at your piston going back in. You see that? Uh-huh. Watch this. Piston goes in, piston in the middle goes in. Now look at the difference in the gap. Oh yes. So now you got enough room. See they're flat? They're flush, yeah. That's what you want. So you get them both flush, and you do that, obviously, <laughs> before you take them off. Well, right. <laughs> you can, and, you need, and you have to reattach this. I take it off to get the wheel off. Right. But you reattach it so the, you can have the leverage. The leverage, yeah. So I'm going to do the same thing to this one. And these pistons are out even further. Look here. Look here. So you move your pit, and it's e hey, it's easy to do this when the wheel's off. Now I change my front ones with my wheel on. I don't take my wheel off and change them. Right, right. But I still run this up between it, and I'll turn it, yeah. get it started, and then I'll go to the top, I'll work it to the bottom, and I'll pull it out again. You can do them with the, with the wheel on the bike. I've got a tool. I've had to lay it. I've got a tool that'll do them too. Yeah. But I've laid on the side of the road and done my brake pads before on the front oh, when oh. I was in Murphy, North Carolina, because yeah. I had two go out on me at the same time, and I didn't know they were even... Oh man. And I stopped and found some pads and uh, I put them on in his parking lot. But you can do it. It's, it's just it was 90 degrees and hot. But now they're out. Yeah. They're not gonna they're not gonna compress back unless somebody reaches up and grabs your brake handle and pushes it, then they're gonna go right back together. Okay. So now you're out and they'll just fall off. You just fall them outside your spring, there's a little spring bracket in there. Yeah. Then you have to do you have to use a uh, There's a rubber, there's a rubber, little rubber coated thing right at the bottom of your brake caliper. A little cover, which is just like that. That comes off your caliper. And then your, uh, and I just use a, use a hex. Go in there and get it. And you just, Loosen that hex bolt, and that bolt will roll right out. Let's 
pad and drop it out. Okay. Just pull it out until you get it all the way out. There it is. Okay. There's, your, there's your pet caliper. Also has a little rubber piece on the end. Okay. It should be a little bit greased. Okay. It's supposed to be. Because think about it. They're moving. Right. They don't want to get wedged. From right. So this right. needs to have a little bit grease of grease on, on it. it. Okay. It does. I'm probably not going to add any more to it. I wouldn't normally. So you can kind of see here. Here's his brake pads that came off. Now notice. One side does have doesn't have metal, the other does. Okay, yeah. Thought that's interesting. That's the way mine are. Right. There's your pads. Okay, right here. So you can see the pad part here. And now let's look at the new set laying up here beside. There's a new set. So let's see. Oh, what's the difference between them one. grooves? Yeah, that's just the way they're made. Okay. But you see how thin this is? Yeah. That's a new one. So okay. I like I told him, he's about half worn. Mm. You know, he don't want to get back in here and do this again. He and I, we can do it, but there ain't no reason to do it. They're not hard to do. Like I said, I can do them with the wheel on. Anybody can. But it's easier when you got the wheel off. Why not? They're half right more. Yeah. You'll probably never have to change them again. Right. You know. So it's a little tricky getting them on. you got to remember how your disc rotates. So these will have to go on where the disc is rotating around, so that's the way the disc is going. So they fit on here like this inside. Okay. You got two grooves here, you got a spring clip in the back of these, and this clips up in it, pushes back, and then you reinsert the bar that holds them right through that hole. Okay. Okay? So what I normally do is I'll take the first one, I'll clip it first. There's a little clip right there. You can even hear it. And you clip that first one. And I missed one. You gotta clip it in. And it can be, it can be a little tricky. And there's the first one. And you remember, you don't know this, but the whole mechanism, this is a these brakes are floating. So the mechanism itself, as you can see, yeah. this literally whole thing slides back and forth. So while you have it off, you can grease those sliders. Okay. If you want to. I've greased, my bike's got 198,000 miles on them. I've greased them two times. Mm, okay. They, they, they work, my brakes have always worked fine. And I greased them this last time. Right. I looked at them. They were a little dry looking. Yeah. So I went in, I pulled the rubber boots back, greased them good, and had my mechanism sliding. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, okay. They should be. They should be able to slide. Your slid as soon as I touched. Did you see that? Yeah, okay. So yours are sliding good. They're going to be out, so you want to put that one in. And you kind of have to back this. See here, you have to back this off a little bit. Yeah. Now some people will say grease or oil. Will say grease or oil that, uh, that pin. That piece that end because it's got a rubber grommet on it. And I've got a grease gun right here that I used yesterday. So I'm going to just for giggles. We're just going to grease that right there, just so it's nice and stays nice and, and then roll that back out. Take the other side. We'll do the same thing. We'll rock it up and find the find the spring load on it. There's the spring load up there. I'm going to pull it back. Pull that stuff. I'm gonna go through and find that hole. This can be a little tricky. So once in a while, I'm gonna keep everything just pulled apart. Look. Hmm. See that? Doesn't want to go in the. So you kind of gotta pull it back. I actually, work better on the floor than I do up here. Just me, though. Mm -hmm. What's in there? Yeah. Let me see. Let me see that down there. Look in the same clip. Push right back in it. Pulls right back out. Pushes up and pulls back. It's not pushed up.
can be tricky now. Still not there. Almost there, but not quite. Perfect. Locks back in. I'm gonna have to have a light. Can you remember where that yellow and black light is up here? It's not I'm gonna, I'm missing a groove up in here somewhere. Oh, thank you. There we go. See there? Yeah. I just didn't have it up in the right place. So then when you get them together like that, let's just pop them in there and get them wide enough. Now I'm going to tell you, that's awful thin. What's that? It doesn't leave a lot of room. It don't look like getting me a... Get them slide in? Well, it ought to, but boy, it's thin. And one of the reasons it's thin it's because both sides of that have a metal bracket on them. Mm. But it is what it is. So we ain't gonna know till we try to slide it on there. Right, what am I looking for? I'm looking for that. So then once you get them on, then you screw this back in so it comes out all the way over here. It'll tighten up. This side's threaded on this on this outside. Okay. It'll scroll right in there. There it goes. And once it tightens up, all right, it's tight. Pop it. Get it wide, and that's the way it's sliding. Okay. See how that is? Yeah. So we just do the other side. But I will say, I have not noticed a, uh, all right, I've got a little, there we are. Now, put, take your little grommet that covers up that hole on the edge. You've got to kind of work it a little bit to get it on there, but you can get it on there. And it goes right back and covers the hole that the, that the uh, Allen wrench, hex wrench is in. So you just got to be aware that you put new ones on there and they're going to have to stay apart until you, Getting for heaven's sake, don't let anybody hit you, dad gum break. Uh, right. for Daddy, what's this? Squeeze the nigga. Yeah. So you take that little rubber. Get the rubber piece back off of there. There's your little rubber piece. Loose. Oh, I didn't get that loose enough, did I? Big boy. Well, how many grandkids you got, man? Two. Two girls. What is going on here? Two. A boy. A boy and a girl. Girl first. I can't get that out. Around here? Yeah, they live about five miles from here. Okay. Got little Kim and little Cortland. Little Cameron, little Cortland. She's about, she'll be four in January and he'll be a year in December or January. Yeah, little bitty ones. Yeah, they did. Hoping that's gonna be. I swear I cannot for life me get that out of there. There we go. My hands are too greasy. Same thing. 
You're just backing that thing out. All right, this is too difficult. It's too long. The back ones the same way? Yep, back ones the same way. They're just not as easy quite to get to, but you can get the same thing. You got, you got to take the wheel off? Nope. No? Nope, I'm changing. I don't like changing. You can't. Push them up, pull them out. Or we can push them in and put them dangle out, whichever you want to do. There's one, there's the other. So these are one more. That those do need to be that one's definitely done. You see the difference now. Yeah. Big difference on that side. So you are getting a little more action out of this one. But again, you're swaying good. Look here. Yeah, see I how see. you pull them good? Uh -huh. Alright, so. You're still pulling good, but that would be where you'd grease. Is that a grease, a grease alumite or just a... No, you gotta apply it. Where is that good on here? Right there by your left, your left foot, right there by your heel. But yeah, they told me that when you hit the back brake... Yeah, you have to look at it. it, it he said, when you hit the back brake, it applies to the rear and the left front caliper. Well, the now, front brake is only the right front caliper. That's why... I you, don't think it, that's... I just don't think that's right. Now, it could be, but I just don't think it is. I'd have to get my thing out again and look at that. That's why they say not the, sound right. It is definitely linked. That's why they say the left one worries that more than the right one because yeah, that's that, not uh, good too. You know, most people use the back brake just while I'm in here, might as well, ain't, ain't going to hurt nothing. Put a little dab of dippity do on there, is it? Dippity-doo. Oh, dippity dippity do ain't going to hurt nothing. Nah. It's going to make it slide a little bit. There you go. Now see that? Mm-hmm. So that shows somebody that your caliper slides. The whole thing moves. It's, it's trained on there, but the whole thing moves. Something to remember. These are all good and flush. All right, so let's get these new ones on here. Hey, could you could you sit right there? With the camera? Well, just sit. Oh, the sun got the sun has got me where I just can't see anything. There you go. Pull off. Yeah. Okay, so I'll this on right here. Here we go. Clip. Clip. Clip in. Put in, slides right through it. Pull the whole caliper over a little. Oh, yeah. Pull this one in, slide right in. There we go. Right there. It's going to go back in there. There we go. Come in here. Come back. Come back to me now. Come on back. Clip that switch on the outside there so it'll tighten and it can and clip it for me. Just start turning it. Am I going the right way? Uh, no. There you go. There you go. Just keep on turning. Alright, stop it right there. Alright, now can't let her rip. Push it in while you're doing it. Hold on. Hold on. 
Okay. There we go. Keep pushing it. Keep pushing it. Oh, hold on. Hold on. That's wild. It's pushing that in with it. Alright, let's try it again. That's weird. That's got to go here, just like that. Let me do something here. Let me do something. I think it's collapsing on me or something. Alright, now. All right, now it went in too far just then. Pull it out just about to. Interesting. It's just not this. This mouth's not coming over far enough. There we go. It's got to come over here. There we go. It's got to come over here. It's not getting over here far enough. It is on that side, but it's not on this side. Right. Okay, see, it should just slide in just like that. All right, hold on, let me get this out. Should slide right to there. You can come right there now. Come on in. There we go. Now I start screwing that in. Right there. there you go. Until it gets tight. Give it one good shot when you get it tight. Stop right now. Huh? Come on. Okay. Yeah, give it a good shot. There you go. Good shot tight. Uh -huh. Good. That's good, man. Got it? Yeah. Alright. Little rubber grommet. That's what I do with it. Right there. Where's it? There you go. That goes right here and just fills that hole. Just kind of work it around until you get it to flush with that right there. And there you go. So that covers up your little, doesn't get a bunch of dirt in it that way. Mm -hmm. All right, you got two sets of brake pads on here now. Two new sets. Got two brake pads, two sets of shocks. Man. Living. Yeah, huh, boy. Get in the large thing. Right, now it's time to put the front wheel back on, so I'll put it back together and she's ready to roll. I have to keep the bug on top. You ready to roll, baby? <laughs> Alright, so first step is to use that. Perfect. Alright, first step is to take this one back off. Those are done. Those are done. I want them to, them the original brakes, you reckon? How many miles this got on? 30, like 30. I wouldn't think so, but they I guess they could be, but boy, that would be a lot of wear on a pair of brake pads. 30. If you're just driving down the road yeah. and you ain't doing nothing crazy on it, I'd say they probably are. Hmm. Wouldn't surprise me at all. On three, slap the adventure. One, two, three. Slap the adventure.